Hey everybody, welcome to Monday Morning Mike Talk. So glad that you're with me. Thank you guys for being with me again. As I head into, we've been here a week now and got another four or five days before I head back to the, the cold tundra of central Illinois. But I miss you guys. I missed you guys yesterday. Uh, if you were at the Chateau, I'll be there Sunday, Lord willing, preaching and continuing this series through Jonah. Uh, thanks to Brad and Missy Wright for uh, being with us yesterday. And uh, online, I hope you watched uh, the sermon yesterday online. We began a series in Jonah called Dangerous Mission. And uh, the whole idea was that Jonah was called to this dangerous place called Nineveh and how God some kind, sometimes leads us on dangerous mission, which part of that is what I want to talk about this morning and keep this theme going through the whole week. You know, we've been saying, would you pray with us every day at 149? And I'm going to encourage you to do that. Set your clocks. Uh, pray for song and sword. What are we praying for? Well, one of the things we're praying for is for the Lord to open doors so we can share our faith. Uh, that's, that's a prayer. We're going to talk about that this, this whole week. But we are, because we've been found in Jesus Christ, we have been called to share what we found in Him. And so uh, that's what I hope. Uh, by the way, uh, Sarah picked up, we went walking for a long walk the other day, and Sarah picked up some cool shells. Do you guys do that? Do you ever get to the ocean? Uh, do you pick up shells? We do. Kind of walk along. It's kind of fun to see how God uh, just rolls stuff up on the uh, shore. Um, anyway, I digress. I got distracted. I saw a shell. Anyway, uh, happy Monday, everybody. Glad you're with us. Uh, continue to share, um, to like, uh, to uh, comment. Uh, go to songandsword.com for all things Song and Sword and continue this journey with us. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, something lost in Luke chapter 15. I'm going to read a part of these three parables, Jesus tells a parable about a lost sheep and a lost coin and a lost son. It's his really kind of illustration of how important it is uh, to find something that's lost. And so I'm going to read the parable of the lost coin. Um, and maybe the one that skipped over the most of these three uh, in Luke 15. But let's start with Luke 15, verse 8. And here's what Jesus says. Remember, a parable is a story. It's about something other than the story, okay? It's just a, sorry, it's a little windy here, so you can see that this uh, table is rocking a little bit. Uh, let me just push it down like that. All right, there you go. Luke 15, 8. What woman having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found that she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. This, this parable about this woman who loses a coin, we think historically that this may have been a practice uh, in the first century uh, for women to wear around their head kind of a headdress that had ten coins in it. Small, worthless, just think pennies, okay? But it would be the livelihood of a woman, because things were very different in the first century, uh, who was kicked out of her house. Her husband could say, you have to leave, I'm divorcing you, be done with you. And she could only take what she had on her person. So we think, uh, this is at least sub substantiated with some history, that a woman would wear this headdress with ten coins. She wakes up one morning and one of the coins is missing. It's fallen out. And uh, it may not be important to me and you, but it's important to her. She sweeps the house diligently until she finds the coin, because it could be her livelihood, and it could be life to her. And Jesus says that's just how important it is for a lost person to be found in the kingdom of God. She rejoices, by the way. She goes on to call her friends and say, hey, come have a party. She has a party. I'm sorry, the wind has blown the pages. Uh, she, she calls her friends and neighbors saying, rejoice with me, for I found the coin that I lost. When something's found after you've lost it, even if you lost some keys and you find them, or you, you lose your credit card and you find it, you lose your shoes and you find them, when you find something that's been lost, there's a rejoicing factor. Jesus says, when a lost person is found in the kingdom of God, the angels rejoice. And so um, it's very important for us to capture the heart of Jesus today. On this Monday, I want you to consider how many lost people there are around you, people who don't have eternal hope or life because they don't have Jesus Christ. They're lost. 
and, and may we pray for them daily. Maybe they're family members, co-workers, neighbors, people we go to school with, play on teams with. Um, they're lost. Let's pray for them today at 149. And pray that God will use the uh, ministry of song and sword to make a difference in the lost of this world. God bless you guys. Happy Monday. Have a good week.